welcome to British Ants. Uh, today we're going to be showing you our large formicarium. Um, we're going to be doing videos for a lot of our products so that we can link these back to the website. So this is the first one we're doing. Uh, this is our largest one. We've got a nesting area at the front and we've got uh, various ports that are located, here we are, around the product. So we've got one there, just pop that back in place. We've got another there and we've got another just there. So we've got three ports that uh, when our colony grows that we can keep extending to these. Uh, they feature quite a nice size lid to the outworld and uh, the ants can come and go for a small hole down there. Uh, this will be great for a species uh, like Lassius, uh, that kind of size, Solenopsis, um, anything that uh, isn't too large. You're looking at about uh, eight millimeters um, max for the queen uh, or the colony that you put in here so nothing too large um, in size but this will house around two to three hundred ounce depending on on the species uh, and as I said you can extend to these uh, they feature a nice mesh grill which is really fine um, which is excellent so it means it avoids escapes uh, you can add um, a layer of anti-slip on the underside. Uh, if I just get some of that, so there we are. That's the stuff. Um, again, just add a small amount of that on your finger and just rub it on the inside. It will give you extra protection if you're housing really small species in here. Now these are aimed at adults. Um, that's not to say they can't be used by younger people, um, but as such, the hydration chamber here, which is what you'll need to keep the uh, nesting chambers moist, depending on the species that you're keeping in there, um, has a very small hole that's at the top there. Uh, and the best way to hydrate that is with a syringe, which is why these are aimed at the, the kind of adult market. And you need quite a fine syringe. We do sell, again, separately, the syringes and fine needles and um, two mil is usually good enough to hydrate that it's very very visible so it's very easy to uh, see when it needs topping up and being a really nice small hole means that that won't dry out quickly because the larger that hole is the quicker that will dry out uh, they I think they're fairly well made um, they take moisture very well because a lot of acrylic products can warp um, so that's something to be aware of when you're you're purchasing uh, formicariums, um, but these ones don't. We're going to be housing um, a colony of Solenopsis uh, ourselves in here for display purposes, which you can follow us in one of our later videos. But that won't be until February. Um, get a bit of close up on those. We also do a smaller version of this which is this one here. Same kind of principles. Uh, as you can see, it's got a larger nesting area. Uh, this size is great for starting out on, um, but again, you've got plenty of ports. So if you add the crystal clear formicarium tubing, which is this stuff, um, you can extend these. So if we take a pair of scissors to this, Now the, the tubing that we sell, the crystal clear tubing, is designed to fit straight into the product. So there's no faffing about with um, adapters. Um, it's a nice tight fit, so it does take a bit of getting in that. But once we're done, we can join this up. We've also got these adapters, so these are great. So if you wanted to add, especially with species like Solenopsis, lots of units, we can just keep going. So if we apply that to there, I'll take that little bung out of there. So there we are, we've joined 
two units up already. We've got some a third exit here where we could add one of our nesting chambers. So we just apply the crystal clear tubing to that. Very simple just push straight on uh, and there we've joined three three units up so um, these are the ones with the shields which are great um, if you don't want the shields you can use um, acrylic not acrylic sorry um, this stuff quite cheap and cheerful blue acetate uh, sorry red acetate uh, and you can just cut that up to size and create little windows on there. The red just cuts the light out, makes the ants believe it's dark. And obviously ants are used to the dark, they like the dark, it makes them comfortable. They've got a comfortable queen, she's going to lay more. So quite quite key really to keep them, keep them happy. But there's nothing to stop you having a larger outworld onto this. Uh, we have got larger... Um, Outworlds coming in soon, and uh, again they'll be affordable. So here's our medium. So that's our medium outworld. Same kind of design and principle as these. We've got a wire mesh. Um, you can add more anti-slip around the inside of the surface. Uh, take that bung out. We've got two. These are the outworlds, the mediums, and we can just add in another outworld in there. It's always worth getting your ideas down on paper before you do this, um, especially if you've got a colony that you've, uh, you're extending, because trying to do this with ants in is, uh, can be fraught with, fraught with danger. There we are. So there we have a, a three unit setup with an outworld. Again, you don't need the outworld. Um, because you've got outworlds connected to both of these uh, smaller nests. Uh, but if you, your, your colony is obviously growing, um, then you'll find it easier by having a kind of a satellite uh, outworld. Maybe one you'll keep water in and the other one you'll use for feeding. Um, but the options are there. And uh, all this range is compatible. Uh, we do lots of different parts for these. Um, we try to keep all our formicariums so these um, we've also got these as well all have the same connections to avoid the problem of mixing the connections up because we've noticed with some stores that the uh, they use about eight or nine different connections going from six millimeter up to 32 millimeter um, and it's very frustrating it's frustrating um, for me, because I've always tried to match up to as many other companies as I possibly can. Um, but that's um, something that I think we all need to work on as an industry. But, uh, again, it is dependent, so you'll see on the website that we've got a separate section uh, in the accessories where you've got 20 millimeters uh, connections. Those, all the 20 millimeters are, if I can find the product, are designed for the atta, so the leaf cutters, the large. So, but if you've got one of the old pods, so we used to do these with a 20 millimeter connection, then we sell these on the website. <clears throat> uh, they do have various fittings. This end is always 20 millimeter. So if you've brought a pod or a cube of the old design in 2017, these will fit in into your unit with a 20 millimeter hole. You secure it on the inside, and then this is a self-tightening nut. So that gives you um, a 10 millimeter, or can go from 14 to 10. And this one goes much larger. So you can adapt the old versions with these. Uh, but if you're in any doubt, then just get in touch. Uh, send us a photo and we can match up what you need. It's usually easier than you buying things that you don't require. 
uh, but say all this range is um, crystal clear so all these fit all the other things so we try to keep that fairly simple uh, if you have any questions pop the uh, questions down below and um, we hope to hear from you thanks <laughs>